Well, good afternoon. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Today, I wanted to take some time with you and talk talk to you how I lost 16 building bricks or construction bricks of body fat, and also talk to you about the China study and some other books that are my favorites. Okay, so I wanted to share with you today my personal journey and how I regained my health and lost my weight. And you know, one thing I've learned is that weight loss begins in the kitchen. You know, they say you can't help exercise a bad diet. You know, the, the, the diets today, the standard American diet, are so full of fats and oils and all. You know, you have to exercise so much just to try to lose a few pounds, and it almost becomes an effortless and, and an arduous task. That, to try to lose this weight and exercise so much. And so, you know, I was raised on the standard American diet, the Western diet or the American diet like uh, most people have, uh, following the food pyramid, the go government designed for us. And, you know, it's interesting if you were to really flip the food pyramid upside down, the healthy foods would be on the top. And so, uh, but I lived my, most of my life uh, just shoveling, shoveling the food in my mouth. You know, you. As a contractor, you know, you have shovels here, and it kind of just reminded me of just continually shoveling the food in my mouth and not really even giving any heed to the, to the negative benefits or the harmful effects it would have on my body. You know, you just keep on eating it thinking, oh, there's plenty of protein and calcium, and so I just need to eat all this meat and dairy and cheese and oil without really thinking about it and, and taking a look, you know, and asking myself, are these foods really damaging my health. And so uh, what I was doing was eating myself to an early death and disability, you know. Uh, I know we all have to die, you know, that's, that's a given, you know, but I don't want to be the one responsible for my own death, you know, and that's why I, have, you know, it's been three years now, I switched over to a whole food plant-based diet. And so what you have here in front of, front of, front of us is 16 bricks. You know, I've been in the construction business for 40 years now, and, you know, these bricks are amazingly heavy. You know, this, these two bricks, you can hardly hold one out for any length of time. They're just so heavy and dense. And so, but this is how many bricks I was, of body fat worth, I was carrying around. So it's a good visual aid, you know, and when we're carrying around all this extra weight, it puts, you know, extra pressure on our, on our joints, our ankles, our knees, our hips, and... You know, you get hip replacement or knee replacement, all this extra weight. It's like having a small compact car, you know, and you, you put a ton of bricks in the back. It's not designed for that, but you overload the trunk. And so it's going to affect the steering, the shock system, and the tires. It's all going to come out of alignment. And it's really no different with our human body, our human frame. When we put all this extra weight on us, it's... You know, it's all that fats around our vital organs, and we're just putting a, a, a real burden on our bodies, you know. And so, I reached a point when I was age 57, I, being in the contracting business, it was hard for me to climb ladders and get on roofs, and, you know, it was even uh, hard to get, get over and tie, bend over and tie my shoes. And I couldn't even play on the floor with my grandson. And so, you know, I really had to think long and hard about the the course I was on, you know. Uh, so in 2012, I went to, the, to visit the doctors, get a doctor's appointment. Uh, and so at that time, I weighed 265, and my blood pressure was 150 over 90, and uh, my cholesterol was the high 200s. And, you know, at that point, the doctors wanted to put me on medication, and I just knew that wasn't the right way. You know, it didn't seem right intuitively, and so... You know, I did at that point begin searching the internet for, for other alternatives. Uh, but, you know, at that point I had angina and, and uh, you know, chest pains and achy joints and uh, my bones uh, and, my, and in my hands had a lot of, a lot of achiness and uh, even suffering from hemorrhoids, which, you know, are 
were about the worst thing you could have. And, and although all those things went away, once we, I switched my fuel to a whole food plant-based diet, I also had lower back pain and so, uh, and then also impotence, you, you know, I suffered a little bit from that because of carrying extra weight around. And in fact, one of the, you know, they say that 40%, 40, 40% of men over 40 suffer from ED or erectile dysfunction. And so, you know, that's an early warning sign or the canary in the coal mine, you could say that if a male or a man is suffering from that, you know, you have serious uh, blood flow in your arteries that, you know, you need to seriously think about changing your diet. So anyhow, I reached the point that enough was enough, you know. You know, a lot of us are stubborn and we have these big egos and our pride and we don't want to change, you know. Even if we listen to our spouse or friends, you know, they, wanting us to change, we really need to take heed to their advice. And, you know, the life on this earth is very short and we're only here, our lives are like a mist. You know, they appear for a while and then they vanish, vanish it away. So, you know, that we want to... Uh, be around for our loved ones and so on. And so, uh, you know, we have to ask the question, are my personal food preferences more important than life itself or my loved ones, you know? Is my steak and my hot dogs and my cheeseburgers, are they more important than my, than my life itself to be here for my loved ones? We have to really seriously ask ourselves that question. And so, you know, I've reached the point in my golden years, my wife would say, you know, why do you want to be crippled or, or disabled in your golden years? You know, the, these are the years when we want to be full of vitality and energy to be, spend time with our friends and family and grandchildren. And so, uh, those were some of the reasons that I, I changed my diet, is to be here for my three daughters and my grandson and to, to be able to live longer. You know, if you look at the Asians, they're, they live to be 70, 80, 90, 100 years old, some of them. And, they're, they're healthy, they're vibrant into their elderly years because, again, they eat a, basically a starch-based diet with, with rice and, and vegetables. And so uh, I also reached the point where I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. And so uh, another good thing was is my wife also uh, adopted this way of eating. She had some health issues a couple of years ago, and I had been coaching her, and she had been watching my change take place. And, and so... Uh, you know, I couldn't be happier that my wife also is on board now, and even my, uh, some of my daughters are beginning to adopt some of this lifestyle. I sometimes tell people that, you know, some people are like the Titanic, you know. It takes a while for the Titanic to turn, you know. Like if you're suffering from a disability or a chronic disease, uh, you know, the sooner you can switch your fuel, you know, get away from the meats and the dairies and the oils, you know, those are the foods that, cause the chronic, most chronic diseases to begin with, or the degenerative diseases. And so this, if you're suffering from some, from some disability, the best thing you can do is switch your fuel. And I realize that the medical systems today, you know, your doctors, they're, they're taught out of all the years of, of medical school, that, that they're only taught about three, year, three hours of nutrition. And most of that's on, on how to give supplements to their patients. And so, they're not even taught about the effects of food on, on our bodies. <coughs> and so, so anyhow, right now I'm one, about 190, 195, 196, my weight is, and my blood pressure is 111 over 70. And so, my cholesterol is also 139. And so, I often share with people this whole food, plant-based lifestyles is the best kept secret. It's like discovering the fountain of youth, you know. I feel like I'm in my 30s or 40s. I'm, I'm the healthiest I've ever been in my whole life. And so uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful message to be able to share with our friends and family. And, you know, unfortunately, we, we live in a world that's anti-health. Even the medical system or the doctors, you know, they're trained to just treat the symptom and not the cause. And that the money's in, in treating the symptom. You know, these, the food industry, the medical industry, the pharmaceutical, they're huge hundred billion dollar companies are profit driven and so you know they're not interested really in treating the cause or fixing the problem but you know a whole food plant-based diet and you know that gets to the root of man's problem and you know if you can eliminate the cause of the disease most of the time you can eliminate the disease itself and so uh, I was at a point where my waist size was size 42 and 
Now I'm around 36. I, I used to wear a double X shirt, and now I'm down to like a large. And so, you know, I used to think that I was a uh, big bone geek, would say, you know, but it's, it's really just carrying a lot of extra weight. I kind of re reminds me of when I see a hot air balloon in the sky. That's kind of what I used to look like. And so, uh, so yeah, shedding all those bricks, you know, it's amazing. I tell people I feel like I've developed a set of wings, you know, and you could go to, for instance, uh, Dr. John McDougall. He's a wonderful doctor. You could go to his website, you know. He has a success story there where you could, there's a whole list of people that have switched their fuel they, over to a starch-based diet, and they, they have just experienced miraculous results in their health. And so I would encourage you even to, to go there and read other success stories. And so, uh, so the foods that I eat now, you know, we eat a lot of rice, a lot of potatoes. This lifestyle is not about portion control or counting calories or Jenny Craig or Weight Watchers. You know, it's a, this is not a diet. Again, diets are on again, off again. They're basically designed for failure. Uh, this is a, a, a lifestyle change. And so uh, this way of eating, it's, it's, you can eat more and weigh less because the, the foods we eat are uh, low in calories. It's not the high fatty foods like the meats and the dairies or the, the chickens, the, the beef. And so you can eat all, all you want until you're full, and that's just a wonderful lifestyle. You know, you, you can be free of your medications, most of them. And, you know, the, the medical system would have us shackled to their system, you know, where it's disease management, what you see out there today. It's not health care, it's sick care, you know. And so even Hippocrates had said 2,000 years ago, he's the father of all medicine, that uh, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. He realized that it was the food that was the cause of chronic diseases. But unfortunately, we've shifted away from that where it's, again, it's pills and procedures, that's where the profit is. And, but unfortunately, it leaves a lot of people uh, suffering needlessly, you know. And so, uh, you know, it's, I would encourage you to take a lot of time to do some research and study. That's one reason why we've raised up Plant Smart Living is to emphasize smart living. You know, uh, take some time and check out the research, the scientific studies that it's scientifically, all, all this information is backed up, it's been proven for a hundred years. And so, uh, exercise, I walk, I, you know, I do a lot of walking on my feet, a lot with my own contracting business, business up on roofs and attics and, and ladders. And, but I, I do try to go hiking on the weekends with my wife and try to do a lot of, some walking during the week. And uh, so anyhow, uh, I did want to take some, just a few minutes and just to encourage you to, to take a look at some of these books here and think about maybe ordering some if you have an opportunity. But I have about uh, five books here that I'd like to quickly go over with you. Uh, one of my favorites uh, is The China Study from T. Colin Campbell. That's a wonderful book. And I had the privilege of meeting some of these doctors. My wife and I were on the uh, holistic holiday cruise at sea in March. And so we got to meet uh, Colin T. Campbell there. And, and also another great book I would encourage you uh, to read is uh, Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease with uh, Coldwell Essenstein. And so another wonderful doctor I met on the cruise. You know, another, another good news is that, you know, if you, he teaches that if your cholesterol is under 150, you can heart attack proof yourself. And so, you know, it's a wonderful thing that you can take control of your own health. We don't need to become dependent on our doctors and the medical system. You can... You don't need to be shackled to that. They would have us become full-time customers. And so that's how they make their money. But, you know, switching your fuel and your t foods to this type of lifestyle, you can uh, take control of your own health. And so another good book here is Dr. Neil Bernard's Program to Reverse Diabetes Now. And so another great book. And again, the, you know, the doctors, they're taught in the medical system that you can't reverse these diseases, that they're a one-way street, you know, and that's just not, not true. It's not how it is. Uh, and so these plant-based doctors, you know, they realize that. They have, have abandoned a lot of the thinking that, that's taught in the medical schools and realize that it is the food that's causing the problems, and so they, they promote and encourage people to, to uh, switch over to a vegetable or plant-based diet. And so another great book is uh, The Starch Solution. You get to eat the foods you love, regain your health, and lose the weight for good. And so that 
is wonderful news. That's from Dr. John McDougall. He's been a doctor for over 40 years, and, and uh, I would really encourage you to check that book out. Or you know, all these books are wonderful. And so the, this book had just has just come out from Michael Greger, Dr. Michael Greger, How Not to Die. It's 500 pages. I haven't really got a chance to look into it yet. I know my son-in-law Howie, who's behind the camera, he's been reading it, and uh, just looking forward to diving into that. And so, and one more. Here is Forks Over Knives. That's a great DVD. It's free on Netflix if you have Netflix. Also, another great movie is there's also another one out called Plant Pure Nation. There's another uh, DVD or documentary that I would really encourage you to think about reading. But also on Netflix, there's called it's called Cowspiracy. It's about how these uh, beef industries, cow industries, and uh, how they they raise the cattle, and yet it's also destroying our planets and the rainforests and and so on by them uh, aggressively ruining our forests and so so anyhow I hope this uh, information has been helpful for you if you do have any questions or comments uh, please feel free to leave them in the section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would appreciate that so you can also receive uh, updated videos and so I would really encourage you to think long and hard about your life and uh, switch in, switch in uh, your fuel you know there's Every 30 seconds, someone dies, not dies of a heart attack, but they have a heart attack. And every 60 seconds, someone dies of a heart attack. And that's horrible, you know, where most of those diseases, you know, it's 70% of chronic uh, diseases are caused by the foods, you know. And, and most of the, again, the mainstream medical system, they don't know how to, they just manage your diseases. They're, the doctors are managers. Now, when it comes to acute care, the doctors are wonderful. You know, if you break a leg, you, they can put that in a cast, or if you get cut, you can, they can stitch it up, or delivering a baby, the doctors are wonderful for that. But unfortunately, they've been given the wrong tools, as Dr. John McDougall would say, as far as treating chronic disease. And so, you know, the good news is that you can discover the fountain of youth by switching over to a whole food, plant-based lifestyle. So, I just want to thank you for joining me today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Well, good afternoon. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Today I wanted to take some time and talk about how I've lost 16 construction or building bricks worth of body fat. 